Alright, I can't help but get into this. Um, I saw this video, and the first time I saw it, thought it was fake. Looked into it some more, it was not fake. It was like five or six girls. They pretty much sneak up on this dude. They start videotaping him, and one comes walking around behind him. And caps him twice in the freaking head. And they walk up and literally, I'm not even joking, like, I, it was insane. And these are feminists, I think it was in fucking Sweden, or some shit like that. And it was a white man. And they were all white girls, and then they did a little dance, and the cop sirens are coming, and they're running off laughing, like, I don't think people understand, like, when you start talking feminist, and you get them riled up and then you see this these were little girls that don't even know what they're freaking really doing i mean they looked 17 to 19 maybe you know maybe even younger like like 17 to 19 years old and they laughed like it was the most disturbing thing i'm not even joking it makes you want to puke and we're teaching little girls about, you know, being feminists and women's rights. Yeah. Eh. Well, there are some feminists that are going so freaking crazy that they, uh, serious. It's like a doctorate out of a book from, like, the 60s or 70s. This chick talking about the men are the worst scum of everything. And, that, and I think that's the name of them, scum. That's what they call themselves. or scam, Something like that. And that they need to kill all men. Like, what the hell? That is disturbing. That's why, if you have a feminist around you, realize that she think, she might think that her life is worth more than yours. <laughs> Seriously. They have all the rights in the freaking world. I don't know what more they freaking want. I mean, you guys, you want to be treated like a queen, you want this, you want that. And... But then you want the door open for you. And then if you smack or punch a dude, you don't want him to punch you back or hit you back. Well, if you get equal rights, which you have more than of, you should expect to be punched right back. Because I tell you what, my woman, she's my fucking queen. And she acts like a fucking queen. So if she punched or smacked me, want to know what? I would take it. 100%. But if she was some crazy ass feminist fucking broad and she punched or smacked me, I'd punch her right in her fucking mouth right back. Schoolyard rules. Whatever you do to me, I have the right to do twice as worse to you because you started it and I'm trying to stop it. So uh, I just want you ladies to realize you got more than enough rights. You got more rights than men do. So just be our queens because then when you flip out and lose your mind and you hit or punch us, or smack us, we won't do anything back to you. Because you're our princesses, you're our queens. But God bless it, you, I mean, you're, here's the even line. Here's where you have more, and here's where you have less. Boom. Okay. Well, do you think that you guys have been slowly just raising, da, 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 da. You guys are like here. You don't want it to go to here. Trust me. And, you know, women are like, oh, well, we've done so much and all of this and to make women try that, that. Okay, do you understand what they did back in the day? If you beat your freaking wife, seriously, this is what the town folks would do. If you beat your freaking wife, they'd all come hem you up, put you on the back of a donkey, tied up, throw in freaking rotten fruit at you as they walked you through the freaking the town. Do you understand this? And do you know what they did? And it's always to the man that they do something. And if a man let his wife beat him, do you know what they did? <laughs> They'd come around late at night and bang pots and pans around the house to shame him. So, you know, it's always kind of the man that gets the grunt of it. The man that has to go to war. The man that dies 10 to 15 freaking years earlier. You know, the man that doesn't have a decision whether you keep that baby or not, or whether you freaking lied to him. You know, so, women, respect your men, because 
there's a lot of men out there that are willing to worship you. But because you've been stupid enough to go for pieces of shit that have treated you like shit, you think all men are pieces of shit. The saddest thing is, those men that are marching with you on your little freaking marches that make your, you know what, go really freaking dry, that you would never touch, that's probably the greatest man you'd ever find in your life. And you look at him like he's nothing. But that dude that you march against and you yell across that, that's the dude that freaking late at night at the bar you go home with. And you wonder why you hate men. Once you start looking at yourself, you might want to think about hating yourself. Well, try not to hate yourself too much and uh, love those that love. Thanks.